In this video, we will talk about an important complication of pregnancy, the shoulder presentation of baby. What is shoulder presentation of baby? This is an abnormal fetus position, where the baby is in a transverse lie, causing the baby's shoulder to become the leading part in pelvic inlet. Prevalence of shoulder presentation, it occurs in less than 1% of deliveries at term. Types of shoulder presentations. There are two types of shoulder presentations. Transverse lie, oblique lie. Number 1. Transverse lie, the fetus is positioned horizontally across the uterus. Number 2. Oblique lie, the fetus is angled between a transverse lie and a vertical lie. Causes and risk factors. Multiple pregnancies, higher likelihood in twin or multiple pregnancies, polyhydramnios, excessive amniotic fluid allows more fetal movement, uterine abnormalities, such as fibroids or congenital anomalies, placenta previa, placenta covers the cervix, hindering the baby's ability to turn head down, prematurity, more common in premature babies who have more space to move, diagnosis, physical examination, Palpation of the abdomen to feel the baby's position. Ultrasound confirms the type of presentation and checks for other abnormalities. Pelvic exam sometimes used to feel the presenting part of the fetus. Management and delivery options. External cephalic version attempt to turn the baby to a head down position. Success rate less successful compared to cephalic or breech presentations. Risks can cause distress to the fetus or premature rupture of membranes, cesarean delivery, often recommended due to the risks, associated with shoulder presentation, indications, inability to safely turn the baby, other complicating factors, potential complications, cord prolapse, umbilical cord slips into the birth canal ahead of the baby, leading to compression and reduced blood flow, uterine rupture, increased risk, if labor continues without progress, birth trauma, risk of injury to the baby, including fractures or nerve damage, asphyxia, potential for oxygen deprivation, if delivery is prolonged or complicated.